think everybody around America wants to come to New York. There's so many different types of food and all these famous great restaurants. And you have Russ and Daughters, the Clinton Street Baking Company. People from all over the world come to eat there. What I like most about the Lower East Side, it feels like one of the last real neighborhoods in New York. The Lower East Side has been home to many different people. This particular area was a very Jewish area. You know, a pastrami sandwich, a knish, bagels and lox. Now if the Lower East Side's transforming, becoming sort of a destination spot for people to eat. Ivan Ramen is one of the premier restaurants in the Lower East Side, combining two ancient cultures, Jewish culture and Japanese culture, in a modern setting. With the food we serve at Ivan Ramen, I try to have some kind of connection to Japan, but as a chef, I have my own interpretation. I don't try to follow any guidelines. I follow my heart and my palate. I have your regular daikon, and that's pork ribs, braised, deep fried, and tossed in seasoning. These are really nice. You want a spritz of lemon. What is it on the outside? Uh, nori, sesame, garlic, sugar. Delicious. Ramen shops are somewhat similar to diners. Diners are my favorite places to eat. I like the idea of sitting at a counter and having a plate of food slid across the counter to you from the guy working the counter. What are we doing for noodles today? I'm a big Don Don noodle guy. In Tokyo right now, they call it Taiwanese ramen. This one's a real abadab. The spicy sesame oil, but no broth. I came into this game as a fine dining chef. I've worked in some very famous good restaurants, and some people are very disappointed. They say, well, you worked at all these famous great restaurants. Why would you do noodles? What's wrong? What happened in your life? Really killer, dude. The chef's job is to cook for themselves, and everything I cook is something I want to eat. Yeah. Here go. Yeah. What's up, buddy? How you doing today? I live on the Lower East Side. I live a block away. I'm usually here once a week. Nice to go to a place where you feel welcome, you're regular, they treat you well, and they have that here. See, I have this philosophy about dining. I don't think people go out to eat just for food. It's so important for people to feel cared for. My parents both had an Armenian restaurant growing up, made me pretty picky about food. Ivan Ramen is one of the few places that I go to regularly. I'm usually here once a week. I tend to order either the shio or the chicken python. Python, homegrown chicken noodle soup, that's what we like to call it. Enjoy it. I usually smell it and then take a good look at the noodles. The chicken python, I mean, it feels like a really big hug. It's a really warm feeling. It's really satisfied. You got a picture up there for a reason. I should have tipped the bowl back and everything. So if I really like ramen, I will keep eating until it's finished. That includes drinking all of the broth. So what's going on? I brought you a little something from mom. Yay, mom's baklava. Painted baklava. You can I open. have to tell you, man, this is so good. <laughs> it's really good. Cool, I'm glad you like it. It's so nice, because I walk in the door, and I see you sitting there. I know people who are sitting at my counter. I know they're here because they're happy here. Right. It makes us happy to make people happy. And so when I get to see you come regularly, I know that we're, we're, we're sort of getting it right. And it's fun to pamper your regulars, because who else are you going to take care of? <laughs> I really like the, the chicken python rum. Nice. I think I finished mine in, in 11 minutes or less. Well, see, now that's because you're a regular. <laughs> Thanks again for cool, everything. Man. Great Thanks. to see you. It is. Enjoy the box. Thanks for the treats. It's your regulars that keep you open. They're the ones that keep you going, and they're the ones that breathe life into your business. You're never too big to be a neighborhood restaurant. We want to be a place where people, when they see our restaurant, or when they think about our restaurant, they feel comforted, because they know that they can come here anytime they want, get a plate of food, get a smile, and that, to me, is what makes a great restaurant. <laughs>